Alrighty, welcome to this quick overview on MA3 version 1.5. Very exciting that this is here. Um, this overview is going to be just that. It's going to be an overview. I'm not going to go into depth um, about how to actually do any particular uh, thing that has been added into this version. I'm going to be doing videos uh, in detail of each of those over the next couple of weeks, but I didn't want to make a video that was like 30 minutes long just on this. So this is just an overview. So let's take a look at what has been done. Okay, so a couple little cosmetic things. They've changed the look of sequences. Um, you can see now to, uh, we can identify quickly if a preset is relative or absolute by this little um, color here. So you can see this is a relative and absolute preset. This is just relative. I mean, sorry, this is just absolute. Um, red equals absolute. And then this like pink is a relative. Um, they also cleaned up cues. So you know how if you stored a phaser or something into a queue, you would see, um, you would see like a step. Well, now that doesn't exist anymore unless you click that show steps column. That's really, really helpful because uh, that just is something that, you know, is just clutters up your show file. Um, another thing is that at magic is now no longer called at magic. It is called grid. So if you come over here, um, well, there's nothing selected right now, but if I was to do that, you could see um, that magic is no longer here. If you go to the at key at magic and um, of magic is no longer there but um, I'll do a video kind of detailing how this works. It's still the same thing, and you can still make magic presets. Magic presets still exist. You can tell because this little magic icon still exists here. All right. So a um, couple other little cosmetic things. A um, couple, you know, like I said, the change look of sequences, a new uh, custom ma master selection area, which is nice. If you go to settings, this has kind of been changed, import, export. Um, a big change is in the patch. So if um, if you go to in uh, if you if hide environmental is yellow, you can see that they have added a lot of um, kind of things that will help you quickly uh, find fixtures. You can set up hierarchy. Um, you can set different classes and layers of fixtures. It's just a little quicker, so that way you can get to the fixture that you need to get to to edit or whatever. And I'll go over um, all of this later. That's kind of a new view. If you don't want to see that, just tap hide environmental and also split view. Um, uh, to get rid of all that and you'll be back to the um, thing that you know and love. You just hit those and you'll get right back to it. All right. And you can also change your stage per usual. There. All right. Um, another big thing that has been added, let's go to something here. Mm, okay. Is the agenda that which is under the more agenda. So agenda essentially will let you run specific sequences at a specific date and time. You can repeat that or whatever. I'll do a video on this, but basically this is really helpful. Like let's say you're at an event space and like every morning at nine o'clock they need the house lights to come up, but you can't be there every morning at nine o'clock. And so you program an agenda and it will do that. Um, and this is uh, something that is familiar to um, uh, MA2 programmers as well. If we go back into the patch, you're going to see another big thing is DMX curves. This is a big theatrical um, thing that, you know, if you're from the theatrical world, you will, you know, be glad to see this here finally. Um, I'll go over, I'll do a video about how to create these, but you can assign specific curves to specific fixtures. It's very, very helpful. Um, they also made some changes to um, the, well, let me just show you to how like fixture data is displayed. So you'll see this readout down here is at percent. You can set it to percent fine. You can set it to, you know, whatever you want. Um, they have this new thing called natural and this kind of sets it to what MA thinks is the most logical like data display and data, you know, um, value changing uh, like look here. Um, and you can set this in patch so that way you can like quickly, because it kind of makes sense that for dimmer, you know, you, it would be like a percentage, but then for gobos, it might not be a percentage. It might be, you know, uh, like that kind of stuff. Um, let me take a look at that. Wow, what did I do? That's an interesting look for sure. Um, there, there are a lot of other kind of little upgrades. 
um, it's just kind of more well thought out you'll see especially it was really designed with the on PC environment in mind so just kind of that workflow has been really improved and I'll do a video detailing all of that but there are a lot of great updates in 1.5 just be aware there are some bugs too MA is working on those um, and I'm excited to see where it goes with this um, but yeah those are some of the big changes that have been made in MA3 1.5 subscribe and um, over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be putting out detailed videos on each of these uh, you know new features.